Assalamu alaikum dears, myself is Silke. In this video tutorial, we learn the earthwork and water calculation by contour map or you can say using contour map. Remember, contour map is just a topographical map on which the shape of the land surface is shown by contour lines. And these are of course just the contour lines, right? These lines just represent the contour lines, which are of course used to join points of equal elevations. And you can say this map represents the contour map of mountain. Say how? Because the elevation of inside contours are just maximum than the outside contours. Or you can say the elevation is just gradually increasing from out or inside. If you are not expert in land survey to consider it better, you can just draw the quick profile of this map, right? Like this one. You can draw of course it manually or using computer, no problem. This is not to scale, right? This is just NTS. Look at this one. This is just the profile of this map, which shows, of course, the hill or mountain. If this is the contour map of a mountain, then what's the volume of this mountain? It's a big question, right? Or what? If this is contour map of the pond, then what will be the volume of this pond? Or you can say, what will be the volume of water in this pond, right? Uh, I said this is uh, the contour map of the pond because you can see. Uh, the elevations of each line is gradually decreasing to inside, right? Or you can say the elevations are increasing from inside to outside. That's why this is just like a pond, right? So now I hope you understand what's my approach. Of course, my approach is to calculate earthwork of a mountain or just a part of earth, right? Or you can say uh, the volume calculation of water in a pond. This is my approach, right? And for this approach, I'll use these formulas. I have, of course, two formulas, one the trapezoidal formula and another one is prismodal formula, right? The first thing I want to explain is just the trapezoidal formula and this formula can be given in this form, right? And this formula, we just represent the volume of earth or water and they represent the contour interval. Contour interval is just the vertical distance between two contour lines. Like in this map, you can see, of course, 100, 105, 110, there is just a difference of 5 meter in elevations, right, of two contour lines. So the contour interval in this map is just 5 meter. And N0 will represent the area of the first contour and N will represent the area of the last contour. Like you can say this green area represents the area of the last contour. And in this formula, A1, A2, A3, this just represents, of course, the areas of remaining contours. And the next formula I can use, of course, for this approach is the prismodal formula, which is, of course, given in this form. This is also the same. We will represent volume of the earth or water. D is just a contour interval, which is, of course, just uh, the vertical distance between two contour lines. And N art is just area of the first contour. And AN will represent area of the last contour, of course. And lastly, A2. And F4, A6 will represent area of the even contours. I think for better understanding, we should have a few examples as we always do. Like in this example, this is just the first example, right? We are asked to determine the volume of water in the reservoir, right? And of course, the contours and area in square meters are also given. The reservoir is just like a storage of water, right? So I'll come straight into solution because everything is given to do this approach. And I think I should do this approach using trapezoidal method, right? Or a trapezoidal formula. And this is given in this form, right? I'll do some plug and check in like V equals D. Just look at to these contours. You can guess what is the interval, right? Just look at to the first contour. 670, 671, 672. This means this is just the difference of one meter. So the contour interval is just one meter. I can plug the value of D is one times summation of first and last contours areas divided by two plus some of the remaining contours areas, which are of course only these fours. Do some short math, we'll get of course the volume of water in the reservoir is 61080 cubic meter. And this is it. I'll do another example. This is example two, right? 
and the areas of different contours in a heap of earth are as under like these guys and we are asked to find out the volume of earth the contour interval is just five you can guess from these contour lines right or from these contour lines elevations the data is given so i'll come straight into solutions and i'll do of course this approach using prismodal formula and this formula is given in this form of course right i'll just do plug and chug in because everything is given like v equals just look into the interval interval is just five feet because this is just given if it's not given you can guess from these contours just look at the first contour 450 the second one is 455 460 which means there is just the difference of 5 feet so the contour interval is just 5 feet so you can say 5 divided by 3 times sum of first and last contour area like these two plus 4 times summation of arts control areas like you can say these four contours areas just represent the area of art contours I hope you have noticed I have just circled the second contour area and this is of course just even but this time this is not even because the first contour area is already taken right this time the second contour area is just art contour area right or you can say uh, the first contour area is already taken so this one is just the first contour area now and the second one is this one and the third one is this one right so I have just circled those areas which are the art contour areas, right? So I'll just add all these fours over here, plus two. In summation of those contours areas, which are just the contour areas of even contours, right? Like these three represent the areas of even contours. As the same, you may have just noticed I have circled the third one area. And the third is just uh, like odd. But this time, this is not the third one, right? This is the second one. Because I have taken this one, 6, double 2, triple O as uh, art contour, which is, of course, the first contour area. So this is just the second contour area, which represent even contour area, right? So this one and this one and this one, I have just circled all these three as the area of even contours. So summation of these three guys. When you do some maths, you'll get of course one double two three six one double six cubic feet as the volume of Earth, and this is it. Of course, we have done it. So in this lecture, we just learned the earthwork and water calculation by contour map or using contour map. At the end, if you like the video, make sure you just thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you, dears, for watching. See you next time. Hello, salam.